everyone, it's Nika. This is my reading for us wonderful Capricorns for the month of October. I am so sorry I did not get to do your reading for last month. I started a new job and I also started the month off with a cold. So I didn't have much energy throughout the month of September and I've been slowly regaining my strength. So again, I do apologize. But I am very excited to announce that I am launching my new website on October 1st. I will be glad to put the link in the description box below. Any important information regarding myself, I will put in the box below. You can also find the link to my Keen.com profile if you want to reach out to me and call me on Keen.com. Or you can just simply contact me directly through my website once it's up and running. All right, well, let me get into the reading for October for you lovely Capricorns, myself included. For the first week of October, I pulled the originality card, and what a wonderful theme to get to enter the new month of October. We have a new moon in Libra on October 1st, well, September 30th into October 1st, and originality means to blaze your own trail. Be yourself. Remember that your vibe attracts your tribe. Just be who you are. And you know what? If it means being somewhat of a loner or only getting a select few that circulate around you, so be it. For the second week of October, you got the moving forward card. Get ready for positive changes, Capricorn. And isn't it about time? We also have Mars in our sign for the first time in a long time. So utilize this time that we have Mars in our sign, which is until election day of all days. Make sure that you're ready for all the positive changes that are coming into your life. We have waited long enough, haven't we? For the third week of October, you got the competition card. Summon courage and self-confidence. Stand up to those who try to take advantage of you, Capricorn. I'm not saying that you have to pick a fight with everybody and be all crazy, but, you know, stand up for what's right. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for what you believe in. And even though the card is in reverse, I just take that message to mean that the universe just wants you to pay even more attention to that particular card and don't let it bother you. Don't let the haters hate, because that's what they're going to do. Let it roll. For the fourth and final week of October, you have the vacation card in reverse. Take time for relaxation and adventure. And I got to tell you, with all the wonderful things coming your way in October, it's no wonder that you're going to need a vacation, Capricorn. We are the workaholics of the Zodiac. And sometimes it is hard for us to just take the time and relax. But you have to. Because if you don't, you may reach a point where your body's like, yeah, this is it. Like, I can't go any farther. And you're just going to have to stop no matter where you are. Take it from me. I was in the hospital within the past two months for exhaustion. So... I'm telling you right now, as a fellow Capricorn, slow down. Okay. For the... <clears throat> excuse me. For your overall theme of the month of October, I pulled the Opportunity Knox card, which is a fabulous card to get. This means that this is... This means that this is going to be an overall theme for the month of October for uh, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, which is fantastic. It means all those wonderful seeds that you've been planting over the past couple of weeks, months, days, even years are finally going to start to bud and just grow and prosper and go for it. That's my advice to go for it. But make sure from all your time of going for it in October that you take a vacation. Take some me time. Slow down. Especially when you get to the end of the month. Alright? Nobody 
deserves it more than you, Capricorn. Truly. Nobody. And I'm sure people are watching this saying, well, I'm not a Capricorn sun, but it's my rising or moon sign. Again, if you have that Capricorn drive and it's big in your chart, you're going to be a workaholic. That's just, I think it's just part of our DNA. That's just how we're built. All right. So make sure that you set aside time for yourself. Now, for the love portion of the month, the first card I pulled is forgiveness. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. That's so true, Capricorn. And you know, Capricorns, we don't show our emotions easily, but we get hurt. And when we hurt, it's deep. And it takes a long time to heal. And when you finally are at a point where you can forgive somebody and let go, it's a beautiful thing because it doesn't happen very easily for Capricorns. It just doesn't. So please let go of whatever past disappointments you're holding on to because they don't serve you anymore. They really don't. For the second week of October, I pulled the physical touch is important card. Mm. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. And that's so true. Sometimes giving a hug or even a handshake or petting your one of your fur babies, it could mean so much to the other person or creature. Just telling them that they're loved and everything's going to be okay. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a romantic love, like the one that's pictured in the card. It could just be someone that you care very deeply for. A parent, grandparent, brother, sister, cousin, aunt, uncle. Just letting someone know that they are loved can mean a world of difference and it can change their entire day. The third card that I pulled for the third week of October is slow down. When you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. And that's so true when it comes to love. A lot of times when we meet somebody and we're excited and we just want it to happen now, 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 and we don't really take the time to get to know the person or even just savor the moment. You know, just be in the moment. Relax. For the fourth and final week of October, I pulled the I Love You card. These are very important words. And yes, they are. And look at the card that's representing it. It's a beautiful angel with heart harp strings attached to its wings. And hearing I love you, especially for the first time, it really does feel like harps are playing in your ears and especially if you've just waited so long to hear it and you know the person really means it, it can make you feel like you're flying on air, even for Capricorns who don't allow themselves to feel light and fuzzy even though you really should allow yourself to do so Capricorn and it can keep you young at heart for the overall theme for the month of October I actually got two cards that came out do something for someone else Give your attention to someone else. Sometimes taking time from yourself and just focusing on others, particularly if you work in a field with clients like social work or being a teacher or something where you're just constantly interacting with others, even animals, sometimes that can lift your spirits because it takes you out of that tunnel vision. It can take your mind off of whatever disappointments or anger or hardships you have going on in your life. And it can be a wonderful thing. 
I'm one of those people that really, really enjoys helping others. So that to me can lift my spirits, especially when I'm feeling down. The second card I pulled is the romance card. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. And again, for so many of my Capricorns, you're probably out there thinking, well, what if you don't have someone special? Well, you know what? Pretend that you do. And I'm sure you're probably thinking, what do you mean pretend that you do? I mean, invite romance into your life. Treat yourself to a nice meal. Take soothing baths. Get massages. Listen to music by candlelight. These are all romantic things that you can do, either by yourself or even with a friend. It doesn't have to be with a significant other. I'm just saying, whatever you put out, you get back. So if you're snide, nasty, short with people, critical, and just mean, well, guess what the universe is going to give you more of? Exactly what you're ordering what you just put out. All right, so keep that in mind. I know a lot of times people get hurt, you know, and everyone has probably experienced the type of hurt where you physically feel wounded, both spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally. You're just broken. And it's hard to come back from that. But I'm telling you, if you allow yourself to heal, you can get back to a place where you want to invite love and romance into your life. And love and romance are two totally different things. They are. I'm not confusing the two. But if you want more romance in your life, all I'm saying is ask for more. Show the universe that you can handle more of it. That's all. Think about the type of mate that you want in your life not a specific person that you may have a crush on, but I'm talking about real genuine characteristics that you want your partner to possess. All right? So thank you so much, Capricorns, for listening and watching my videos. I feel very grateful to be able to do this and share these messages that I received from Spirit while I was shuffling the cards and meditating. And if you like my videos, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any issues with these videos, please leave constructive criticism, but please be respectful because if you want respect, you have to give respect. And again, once my website is up and running, I will put the link below in the description box. Take care, Capricorn, and enjoy October because it looks like it's going to be an awesome month for us. Bye.